Hey everyone, I'm Puri and this is Purology. Today I'll be doing a comparison of the Ryzen 9 5950X and the Ryzen 7 5800X3D in Escape from Tarkov. The 5950X is a 16 core desktop CPU. It was first launched in November of 2020. It was $799 at launch and it's still considered AMD's desktop flagship CPU today. It's very special to me because it was the first AMD chip that beat Intel in gaming. It has a base frequency of 3.4 GHz and is capable of boosting up to 4.9 GHz from factory. The 5800X3D is a 6-core desktop CPU that was launched less than 4 months ago. It was launched in April of 2022. It cost $449. It has the same base clock frequency at 3.4 GHz. However, it can only boost up to 4.5 gigahertz. As you'll see, this doesn't matter much for gaming because AMD has figured out a way to address a memory bottleneck upstream that allows for a superior gaming performance even at lower clock speeds. Recently, the, the 5950X dropped significantly in price and many people have been asking for my opinion on which processor to get these days. Shithead.
As you can see from the numbers here, the frame time is much lower on the 5800X3D, which results in a better FPS average, and you can see the numbers are higher for the maximum as well. For the CPU, you can see that the 5800X3D is operating at a much lower temperature, using less power, and operating at a lower V-core. And just some extra stats here. You can see the RAM usage is higher with the 5800X3D as well as the GPU utilization, which is an indication that the bottleneck is not on the CPU side. As you can see, for EFT, there's no comparison. The 3D V-Cache is really made for Tarkov and it allows the GPU to stretch its legs in this game in 1440p. So if you're trying to decide between the 5950X and 5800X3D and your primary use is gaming and your main game is Tarkov, then the 5800X3D is an easy choice. I have another video showing the effectiveness of the 3D V-Cache in Tarkov specifically, and how you do not need fast RAM to get maximum performance. So that's something to keep in mind as well. I hope this was helpful, and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.